Hello, Micro Squad. Welcome to your 10 minute back and booty workout. So, we're working the whole posterior chain, so it's the back part of the body. So, posture and low back issues will be <laughs> treated, not treated, will be addressed, and it'll help release a lot of that. What you will need is I'm using the ball of beam. This is the 25 pounder. You are more than welcome to grab the 15 pounds or grab your ring. And I also have a set of three pound ball of bars. You can always use um, the bangles. What are they called? Forgot. Okay, we're just gonna warm it up. We got two minute warm up here. I'm gonna start my clock. And we're gonna do some lat pull. So it's all body weight to start. You're gonna reach those arms overhead and pull the elbows down towards the rib cage. Really actively squeezing the shoulder blades together. So you wanna squeeze, slide those shoulder blades back and down those ribs. Maybe pause for a second with those elbows into the ribs and then extend it back up. All you're doing, getting some mobility through the shoulder blades, feeling that chest open up a little bit so we don't round our torso forward. We feel it opening, core is engaged. After this little <laughs> upper body warmth, we gotta warm up those glutes. You do have the option to add the weight on. We'll see how I feel, <laughs> see how you feel. Just a quick little back body burn. At about 10 seconds left, so stick with me. Core is engaged, reach overhead, squeeze back down. Beautiful job. We get to lay down. We got some bridges. Nice and easy to start in three, two, one. So you're gonna lay down on that back. Feet are hip width distance apart. Feet are flat on the floor. Hands are down on the ground. All you're gonna do is engage that rib cage, pull the belly button in towards the spine. Tuck that tailbone just a little bit and then lift the hips up and down. This is where you can add the bar on top to give yourself a little bit more in those hips, in those glutes. Let's see how I feel. But I want you to make sure we don't banana out that back, so no arching the back. You're squeezing the core, squeezing the glutes, grounding down through those feet. Rib cage is closed. We don't want to flare it open. That's going to create that arch in the back. That's what we don't want. We're trying to neutralize the back. Whew, nice. If you got that beam on, try not to thrust those hips up too high that the beam comes crashing down. Whew. We're just going to hold it at the top in three, two, one. Just a quick little hold here. Squeeze those glutes. Really elongate that tailbone towards the knees rather than the heels. Try to lift it up towards those knees. Pubic bone tilts back. Whew. We get to rest. We're going to roll over onto our right side. We're gonna stack those feet in a clam in three, two, one. Nice. So I'm setting that beam aside. Right forearm's gonna go down on the floor. My feet are stacked. My knees are stacked. You're gonna press up and out of that shoulder, knit the rib cage together. We're gonna lift up and open the knees. There you go, then bring it back down. All it is is just lifting up starfish clams. This has become one of my new favorites. <laughs> it changes that side plank, puts it into the glutes, still keeps it in the obliques. We're not dumping into the right shoulder. And I want you to keep an eye on those hip points. They're gonna point forward, so we don't want that hip, top hip, to open up towards the ceiling. It just shoots straight forward, bring it back down. We just finished that Ed Sheeran song. Really obsessed with the new album. <laughs> My Spotify wrapped told me so. <laughs> Apparently I listened to him a lot. Open up, close, pull that belly button in towards the spine. Now this time your tailbone is elongating towards your heels. Bring it back. There we go. Almost done with it. We are gonna lay down back on the back. You're gonna grab that beam again, if you wish, in three, two, one. So we're gonna grab that beam, place it on those hips. If it's not there for you today, that's fine. Plant those feet, elongate that tailbone towards the heels to start, knit that rib cage, lift the hips up. You're holding steady in this bridge, hold on to that beam, and you're gonna march a knee up whew, and down. You may need to readjust where that beam is sitting. But now that the hips are lifted, your tailbone scoops towards those knees, not those heels. 
Your rib cage stays closed. You're not swaying from side to side. So I want you to stay really steady. It takes a lot of focus for me to keep my core engaged, to keep my hips steady, and to talk you through this. A lot happening. Sorry for my breathing into the mic. But you're just marching those hips up and or knees up and down. If it's getting too much for you, you can drop the beam or you can just hold in the bridge if you're starting to feel like the sway is hurting your lower back. Yeah. Almost done with it. I hope you liked that noise. <laughs> we are going to roll onto the left side. We got those starfish clams one more time in three. Two, one, good. Placing that beam back down, make sure it's close. You're gonna place that left forearm down. Glutes are on fire. Now those feet are stacked, feet are right underneath the hips. Knees are stacked, left shoulder is down away from that ear. Lift up, pull that knee out or open as I'm breathing heavily. So I love this little sequence with the glutes is we warmed up the glutes with some bridges. So we worked glute max, so the big part of the booty and the hamstrings. Then we rolled into starfish, which not only works the obliques, which is our stabilizers, it works our glute med and minimus, so the muscles right on the outside of the glute also helps stabilize us. And all three of those work together to help pull the pain out of the lower back. So the stronger those glutes are, the less pain there will be in your lower back if you hold on to proper form. So pull that belly button in, point those hip points forward. Not about how high that top knee opens up. It's only as far as your hip will let you. <sighs> Knitting that rib cage closed as if that back is up against the wall. It's just lifting up and down up against that wall. <sighs> How are we doing, guys? You're like, we haven't done a lot of back yet. Oh, I know, it's coming. We're gonna come into a tabletop position. It's gonna maybe look a little different for everybody. I'll give modifications. And we're gonna start with our right side in three, two, one. So a tabletop position, you're gonna use the beam or the ring, I'll give you modifications. So you're in that tabletop position, left hand's underneath the shoulder, knees are right underneath the hips. All you're gonna do is lift that right arm back and bring it back down. Now if you're like, you're holding the ring or your arms are really long and it keeps slamming on the floor, you're gonna come up, left foot's gonna be forward, right foot's gonna be back, left hand's gonna be on that weight, on that waist, on that thigh, then you're gonna do a row from just here. Knitting that rib cage together, pulling the belly button in towards the spine. Wow, this 25 pounder is no joke. <sighs> but I love lifting heavy weights. I haven't done it in a very long time. Now, whether you're down here on the floor and maybe you've come to the bar, I mean, the, yeah, the bar, the three pounder and you're just here, that's okay. <sighs> maybe if you're on a lighter weight, can you challenge yourself? Lighter weight only, if you're on that 15 pounds and higher, Maybe a real big struggle. You're gonna extend that left leg out, float it up if you can, and do the row from here. You got a couple options. I'm gonna go back to my heavy weight. We do get to switch directly into the left side. So whatever variation you're doing, you're just gonna match it on that other side in three, two, one. So left hand, I'm gonna turn so you can see. Yes, no joke. <laughs> Pulling that left arm back. Again, if you're in that tabletop position, that's great. If you're in a lighter than 15 pounds, I want you to see if you can float that right leg up in that tabletop position. Challenge your core. That's also gonna challenge that glute. If you're up here with me, you've got a lot happening in that front leg. It's holding you up, so there's still a lot of glute happening no matter which variation you are on. You do what feels right for your body. Y'all, I'm hungry already. It's <sighs> just like the old days. If you took my classes in person, I always told you when I was hungry, <laughs> which was every class. Just always hungry. Pull that belly button in towards the spine. We are almost done with this move. You're gonna grab those lighter weights. You are gonna come up to standing in three, two, one. Beautiful job. Okay, you're grabbing those bars. Maybe you're using the bangles. You're gonna hinge from those hips. 
You're gonna do two options with those hands. You're either gonna have the palms face each other or they're gonna face outwards. Soft bend in the elbows, neutral back, soft bend in those knees, and you're gonna open the arms up. So just a tiny bend in those elbows, and we're squeezing the shoulder blades back in together. Just like we did in that lat pull, I'll show you from an upright position. So you're squeezing those shoulder blades together, then bring it back down. Do me a favor, squad. When you open up those arms, can you pause, hold, and then release. So you're just gonna pause for a second at the top, holding on to that tension, and then release. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna switch it back to that beam. We're gonna finish off those legs and upper body back in three, two, one. Okay, bars are down. Grabbing onto that beam, I want you to go a little bit wider. Maybe you're holding the bars and that's fine. There we go. We're gonna do deadlift with a row. So soft bend in the knees, feet are hip width distance apart. You're gonna hinge on the hips, back stays flat. Hinging over. At the bottom, you're gonna give me a wide row so elbows go out nice and wide. Release, bring it back up. Squeeze those glutes at the top. So I'm gonna show you from a front view. So you hinge forward, neutral spine, pulling that belly button in, tabletop that back, and then wide row, elbows out wide, slightly behind the shoulders, and then bring it back up. Beautiful. Finishing here. This is your finisher move. <sighs> Hips go back behind those heels so you feel that hamstring stretch. Row. Knit that rib cage together. Mine likes to fly open a lot. Pull that belly button up towards the spine. Glue it there. Pull those elbows back. Slowly release. Take your time with this move. There's no rush. This is really heavy. I don't know why I bought this now. I regret everything. Woo. Lift up, squeeze. Hinge at those hips. Knit that rib cage. We get to rest. You get to finish off nice and strong. You rest down in three, two, one. Beautiful job, everyone. Letting go of that weight. Maybe take some stretches or check out one of our other classes, one of our courses on the Micro Squad, and we will see you next time. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the Micro Squad. Please don't forget to subscribe, check out some of our other videos, and check out our on-demand classes. They are on our website, themicrosquad.com, and we'll see you next time.